there are uh, setbacks and constant reminders of how dangerous and deadly the mission is in Afghanistan. Michael Ware found out firsthand. He traveled on the road from Kabul to Kandahar. The U.S. helped rebuild that road. It used to be safe. Now it is a Taliban death trap. Here's Michael's report. The costs of the Afghan war are staggering. The loss of life, the billions upon billions of dollars. And yet, what has it delivered? Looking around, talking to the US military, it's clear this war is not being won. Well, for most ordinary Afghans, this perhaps is the simplest, clearest measure of that. This is highway number one. It's here that Kabul ends. And 300 miles down that road is Kandahar and the Taliban heartland. I remember when taking the journey from Kandahar to Kabul was more than 12 exhausting hours. But in 2004, American aid money repaved this road and cut that down to a mere five or six. Now, that journey is back to nine or 10 hours. There's at least three known Taliban checkpoints on this American paved highway. People are being pulled off buses and executed by the Taliban. Truck driver Mohammed Qasim runs this Taliban gauntlet once a week. He hauls fuel in this tanker. The road, he says, is in terrible shape, wrecked by explosions. Drivers are left completely exposed. It's been blown up by landmines and there is no security on it, he says. A father of three, Qasim has to provide for his children. He takes his life in his hands each time he travels Highway 1. I'm compelled, he tells me. How else do we eat? There's simply no alternative. Highway 1 looks like this. It is one of the most vital arteries in Afghanistan, rebuilt with almost $300 million in American aid money. Its asphalt rolls out from the capital, Kabul, to the west, towards Kandahar, the nation's second largest city and a political epicenter. And this is the other end of that road. Kandahar is just a short distance down there. Kabul, hundreds of miles that way. But here in Kandahar, this is a city surrounded by pockets of Taliban resistance. Indeed, just a few miles down that dirt road is a Taliban-controlled district. A few miles up the highway is the first Taliban checkpoints. The fact that the Taliban's been able to strangle the life out of this highway is a testament to the fact that there's simply not enough American, British, international or Afghan troops to secure it. What had once been an American project, hailed as a sign of progress, has now become a mark of a mission in crisis. And talking to senior US military here on the ground and others, that crisis is across the board with the mission. Militarily, the entire US military strategy for the war in Iraq right now is under significant review. As one commander put it to me, an American commander, we can't move forward, we can't move back. Politically, the nation is in limbo. The election results from the presidential runoff last month have been stalled from being released because of a storm of corruption allegations. As one senior American officer said to me, there's going to have to be something dramatic happen here to see a reversal. Anderson? Uh, we'll have more from Michael Ware throughout this week as we report here live from Afghanistan. When we come back,